alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Najwa Husseini with Azadi News. Burmese military frees Wirathu notorious anti-Muslim monk. Burmese shadow government launches people's defensive war. Burmese military has released Wirathu, a nationalist Buddhist monk notorious for his anti-Muslim tirades, after dropping sedition charges brought by Aung San Suu Kyi's deposed government. Once dubbed by Time magazine the face of Buddhist terror for his role in steering up religious hatred in Burma, he was freed after all charges were dropped, a military statement said on Monday. He was receiving treatment at a military hospital, it added without providing details. Wirathu, who is from the central city of Mandalay, became involved in the anti-Muslim 969 group in 2001 and was first jailed in 2003. Released in 2010, he rose to prominence two years later after rioting broke out between Buddhists and ethnic minority Rohingya in the western state of Arkan. He founded a nationalist organization that was accused of inciting violence against Muslims and was also successful in lobbying for laws making interfaith marriages difficult. In 2017, Burma's highest Buddhist authority banned him from preaching for one year for his tirades. Facebook shut down his account in 2018. But the 53-year-old monk remained a regular at nationalist rallies where he accused the government of Aung San Suu Kyi of corruption and fumed against its failed attempts to rewrite the constitution drafted by the military. He was jailed late last year after turning himself into authorities over May 2019 charges of attempting to bring hatred or contempt and of exciting disaffection towards the then government. Burma has been in turmoil since the military seized power from Aung San Suu Kyi in a coup on February 1st, sparking a mass protest movement that has crippled the economy. The generals have responded with force and more than 1,000 people, including children, have been killed in the crackdown, according to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, which is monitoring arrests and deaths. Wirathu was able to build upon widespread prejudice in Buddhist majority Burma against the Rohingya who are portrayed as migrants from Bangladesh even though many of their families have lived in Burma for generations. Burma's shadow government has declared a people's defensive war against the country's military, which seized power in a coup on February 1st. Duala Sheila, the acting president of the National Unity Government NUG formed by the elected legislators, who were thrown out of office by the generals, announced the news in a video posted on Facebook on Tuesday. With the responsibility to protect the life and properties of the people, the National Unity Government launched a people's defensive war against the military junta, he said. As this is a public revolution, all the citizens within entire Burma revolt against the rule of the military terrorists led by Myung Lee in every corner of the country. Burma has been in turmoil since Senior General Myung Lee seized power from the elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi just as the new parliament was about to sit. The coup triggered widespread protests and a civil disobedience movement to which the military has responded with force. More than 1,000 people have been killed, according to the monitoring group, the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners with Thousands Arrested. The deadly crackdown has in turn triggered armed resistance to the military's rule, especially in Burma's border 
borderlands with opponents joining ethnic armed groups and forming People's Defense Forces PDF to fight back. Tens of thousands have been displaced in the violence. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azaditvnews.com and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa